ISTQB Foundation Level Question 191 Which of the following statements about the independence of testing is correct? A. Independent testers will find defects due to their different technical perspective from developers, but their independence may lead to an adversarial relationship with the developers. B. Developers' familiarity with their own code means they only find a few defects in it. However, their shared software background with testers means these defects would also be found by the testers. C. Independent testing requires testers who are outside the developer's team and ideally from outside the organization. However, these testers find it difficult to understand the application domain. D. Testers from outside the developer's team are more independent than testers from within the team. But the testers from within the team are more likely to be blamed for delays in product release. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Correct answer is A, according to ISTQB syllabus. The primary benefit of independence in testing is that testers are more likely to identify different types of failures and defects compared to developers due to their varied backgrounds, technical viewpoints and potential biases, including cognitive bias. However, the main disadvantage of independence in testing is that testers may become isolated from the development team, leading to communication problems, a lack of collaboration and potentially an adversarial relationship, with testers being blamed for delays and bottleneck in the release process. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer B is incorrect. A developer's familiarity with the code does not mean that they rarely find defects in it. Instead, this familiarity means they can efficiently find many defects in their own code. And rather than developers and testers having a shared background, Developers having a different background to testers is normally cited as the reason that testers and developers find different kinds of defects. Answer C is incorrect. Testing can be conducted at different level of independence, ranging from no independence for the author to very high independence for testers from outside the organization. In most projects, multiple levels of independence are utilized with developers performing components and component integration testing. The test team, performing system and system integration testing and business representatives performing acceptance testing. So, testers can be in the developer's team and do not need to come from outside the organization. Knowledge of the application domain will change from case to case 
and is not dependent on the level of independence. Answer D is incorrect. Testing can be conducted at different levels of independence, ranging from no independence for the author to very high independence for testers from outside the organization, with testers from outside the developer's team, generally more independent than testers from within the team. However, there is more reason to believe that testers from outside the team are likely to be more isolated from the developers and so are more likely to be blamed for delays in product release. Explanation Finally, let's look at the section 1.5.3 Independence of testing in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that the main benefit of independence of testing is that independent testers are likely to recognize different kinds of failures and defects compared to developers. Because of their different backgrounds, technical perspectives and biases, moreover, an independent tester can verify, challenge or disprove assumptions made by stakeholders during specification and implementation of the system. And this is consistent with the correct answer A. Last but not least, as you might have already guessed, looking at your titanic efforts, diligence and perseverance, I expect a gigantic progress from you so. I look forward to your success, which might happen overnight. Never give up!